Hey guys. I figured might as well do some hands-on stuff with you guys. Show you guys how some things are done. Um, one of the things is I'm going to have my hatchet. Um, this is a smaller form of axe. So something like that. It's always good to have. It's small, compact, a little bit lighter. Of course, you see it's all full metal, so you know it's going to be strong and last you a while. Um, you can actually use that for like the hammer part. So that way if you need to you can actually hammer something in but right now I'm actually going to demonstrate on how to actually cut a tree so put you guys on my head and as you can see I got a tree right here what you want to do is make sure it's lined up you know on which way you want to cut it as you can see this tree is actually leaning a certain way which is towards the trees between the dish and the shed but I know I'm not gonna hit it and what you want to make sure is be aware of your surroundings because there's a light pole right there and you want to make sure that none of the branches are actually gonna touch it but I'm just gonna demonstrate on the angles so you what you want to do is swing in like this and get a nice notch in then what you're going to want to do is do a downward angle and as you can see i'm i've actually already chipped away a lot of the bark and as you can see i'm not really putting much force into it and i'm chipping away quite a bit and you know as you can see right there i i didn't put much force into it but i already chipped away quite a bit the the harder you swing like this yeah I'm gonna use a blunt end so that way I'm not actually cutting into the tree even just doing that did take quite a bit out but the harder you swing the more you'll actually take out and this is why I like having a tool like this it's very durable um, and of course as you can see there are some harder spots but you know one of the biggest things is making sure you have a nice sharp edge to it um, as you can see it, it does have some shine to it and stuff but make sure you actually inspect your blade beforehand to make sure you have a nice edge to it very sharp and you don't want to run any fingers along it you want to run across it and if you can actually feel it grabbing your um, skin a little bit or your um, fingerprints that means it's actually very sharp as like right now I can feel it's very sharp because it's actually grabbing my fingerprints um, but as you can see another test is if you actually be able to sink it in um, but like I said there are some tough spots on a tree um, so something like that what you want to do is make sure it's sharp which I will do another video on how to sharpen the blade so um, I'll actually make another video on that and how to sharpen your blades um, there are different methods to it different stones to use so I will actually be showing you guys how to do that 